Hello friends! This is Mastro Quaidman, and this is just a little DIY TV aquarium that I put together. It's not really like a step-by-step -step thing, but it's just kind of like me going through it and talking about it. So, I picked up one of these TVs for like 50 bucks from a guy down the road from my parents' house. Pretty sweet, but uh, I would suggest if you've got grandparents, or like aunt and uncle, or cousin, or your parents, or your brother, I don't know how old you are, but if you got somebody a little older in your life, and this is just laying around their house, I would totally pick it up from them and then turn it into a sick old aquarium. But uh, this is just kind of a little walk around showing you all the stuff that's inside of it. It's really pretty basic, like everything's all together. You don't have to go too detailed into it. So if you're those people that are like, ah, I don't do that because I don't like complexity. Well, all it is is just a couple bolts you have to do and just a bunch of cleaning. So, I mean, you can see all that boogery stuff. There's some spider loving, some possums. Got some coons in the corner over there. Just gotta clean all that stuff out and get it nice and good looking. But yeah, that's the TV. It's pretty sick. Yeah, it's steps to cleaning if you don't know how to clean. If you don't know how to clean, good luck with life. But uh, what I did is I just took a dry piece of paper towel. Well, actually, like five rolls of paper towel. But just take something dry, wipe it down, get all that dust and all that spiderweb glory out of there. Get it nice and, uh, I guess, dry is the word I'm looking for. It'll wipe all that stuff down, get it nice and good looking. Next, you're going to take some orange cleaner. I bought this stuff from like Goodwill or something like that. It was 50 cents. Pretty sweet deal. But you can go to the dollar store and pick this stuff up. It's obviously a dollar. You can go to Walmart if you're more higher end and you enjoy that name brand crap. But uh, just spray it all down. This is going to make it to where your wood gets degreased and it's also like it's safe to use on wood. It's not going to make your wood all oily and nasty and creamy or something like that. But uh, I took Belle. I got her nice and dirty. I'm kind of upset, but she's going to get washed up real good. Don't got to worry too much about that because, you know, we in the South, we love our bells. You know, Beauty and Beast and all that. If you don't know what bell is, you, you should probably go find a rooster and ride it off into the sunset, you weirdo. Anyways, this is it clean. It took me four days to clean it out. This is just two days, like two days of cleaning. But uh, it took another two days to clean it out and get it nice and super clean. And that was crazy, but yeah, just get it nice and clean because you don't want to pull all that into your apartment or your condo or whatever. Next, you're going to take out these four bolts right here. It's going to just slide the TV out once you're done with it. Now, I didn't have a socket set, so I had to use a wrench. I'm working on this in an apartment on a balcony, so I had a bunch of weird looks the entire time, but I was very unprepared when it came to tools. So, Next step, you're taking the screen out. There's a bolt there. Another one right there there one right there and one right there you're gonna unscrew them and then the glass is gonna come out be careful with this I dropped it like 15 times I'm not a lucky person and for some reason it didn't break so now I know if I like fall out of a plane or something like that I've used my one lucky pass in my life so I'm probably gonna die now this TV right there the actual TV part to it is like 60 pounds that's the heavy part to it so be careful if you're lifting this or moving it around once you get it out, it's really dusty on the inside, so just give it a good clean up and wipe everything down. All right, now that it's clean, I got all my stuff that I'm putting in it right here. Got my lights and everything. And then right here, I took the top off and I actually put some hinges onto it. Now, all you're really gonna do is obviously just screw the hinges in. But uh, with this part, I didn't even like get to connect it to the backside because I had to cut a bunch of the frame out. So what I'm going to do is just have my dad come over and help me out with that. He builds cabinets, so he'll be able to help me out. Um, but yeah, putting on hinges is a pretty sweet deal. If you can manage to get that right, I would suggest that. But uh, <laughs> in the end, my hinges aren't even connected. So whatever, no big deal. All right, so next part, I got some daytime, nighttime LEDs. They automatically turn on when it's dark, so uh, it's a pretty cool deal. Uh, the lens to them, I painted gold on the inside, so it makes the light look more rustic instead of blue, because, I mean, this is an older TV. Blue lights would look kind of strange. I got that wired out to the back. Threw some 2x4s in the bottom, so that way my tank would be risen a little bit. You won't see the black line through the screen. Just like that, you can't see the black line. Also behind it, I got some little fabric it's got static to it so it looks like the TV's like on channel 7 or something like that it's nice and fuzzy um, right now I'm doing all my wiring I'm putting everything into the back into a nice little surge protector so that way it's all concealed into the back you won't see my wires because of that cloth pretty sweet now with this I stuck some 3m on the back of it be careful with 3m because 
you know, wherever you stick it, it's stuck. It's sick stuff, like you can stick your little brother to the wall, you can stick a cow to the ceiling if you want to. Sick. As long as you can support it for like 30 seconds while it dries. But anyways, now I'm putting in my filter. I got a 40 gallon filter in there. It's only a 20 gallon tank. Um, I got a higher filter so it would filter pretty well. I'm putting an oxalotl in there and they poop a lot. So I want it to be super clean. I don't want to have to do as much maintenance as I need to. Um, also, at my tank, it's a 20 gallon tank and I got it on sale at PetSmart. They were doing a sale like a dollar a gallon or something like that. It just happened to fit perfectly, but in most cases you're going to need to get somebody to custom make a tank for you. Just make sure whenever you pick up the TV you do dimensions and if you get lucky you'll find a tank that'll fit. If not, you can find some guy off Craigslist that'll be willing to do it for you. Now right now, I'm just putting in some water in my stress coat and stress lime. I got my light and everything set on the top. And now I'm pouring in some sand. Sand, be careful with it when you pour it in. You want to have a little bit of water in there so when you pour the rest of your water in, it doesn't throw all your sand around in the bottom. But you're going to have some of it floating at the top, so just be prepared for that. You're going to be poking at it for a couple days. I'm still poking at the sand now. Did this like a week ago. But yeah, there's the light on. Looks pretty sick. Going to throw in some rocks real quick. There they are. They're in there now. I'm just going to wipe off the front of it because when you pour in water, it leaves lines. So I don't want you guys to see the lines. Now I got some wood oil and I spent four days cleaning this thing out and I realized I cleaned more of it off with this wood oil. So just get you some of that. I got Murphy's. It was like the cheapest kind I could find. Now most of it's like $12. This stuff was like $3. So wipe it down and get it nice and clean with that. It'll make it look a whole lot better. I got my Perco Polo bottles that I made a little while ago and those glow underneath a black light. So I figured I could pair that with the TV. It would look really sick. And I kind of agree that it does look super dope right now. Now this is just a little walk around with the lighting and everything inside of it. I put some rocks in there for my oxalotl to hide into, so he'll have a nice little cove right there. I still got to put some plants in, and I've been thinking about putting like an Empire State Building, if I could find a model to that. Putting that in the background and having King Kong rolling around, have some planes flying in the background, or have some kind of posters, maybe a mob poster or something like that. Something old, something 60s, 50s time. It looked pretty sweet back there. But um, I'd have to say it, it turned out pretty cool. I'm super excited that I actually got to pull this off because I was expecting to come through a little bit of speed bump action. But it turned out really great, really sick. I can't wait to get my little friends in there, all the plants and my axolotl. It's just going to look really sick. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys subscribe, like, and do some dancing. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Is that bread?